hey youtube family welcome to another video i'm so glad to see you here so in today's video i'll be sharing some tips on how to survive in a small kitchen while it's clean neat organized and smelling fresh welcome let's get into this video So the first way is to clean your chopping board immediately after use. This ensures that you don't have a pile up in the sink and that you keep your chopping board fresh and clean always. The next one is to have a kitchen towel nearby that we'll be using to dry countertops and to clean all the kitchen surfaces in general. The other tip is to collect all the kitchen trash into a can or you can use something in your kitchen then you dump immediately into the trash bin. The other tip is to wash your utensils immediately after a meal. When you do that, you reduce the pileup of utensils in the sink and also it makes your cleaning work more easier. So if you can, you can if you can wash your utensils after every meal, it will be a lifesaver for you and also it ensures that your house stays fresh and smelling nice and also it keeps flies and other germs and bacteria away. storage containers storage containers ensures that your food is well preserved fresh and clean safe from contaminants so storage containers are a must have for any kitchen also they reduce the mess in your countertops by ensuring that everything is well into place so for my case i have a few storage containers and i'm thinking of adding more in the future for all our vegetables we store them in this perforated basin and as i was making this video we didn't have a lot of vegetables since it was almost weekend and that's why you realize i only had a few tomatoes in a kitchen scissors is a must have for any kitchen this ensures there's less contamination especially when you are cutting milk packets and other food packets in the kitchen the other tip is to make sure you wipe all your cooking surfaces immediately after cooking. This keeps your surfaces clean. So for my case, I usually have these two burner cooker. It's a cocoa cooker and I also have a meko. So immediately after cooking, I usually make sure I wipe and remove all the food particles from the cooker. The other tip is to make sure you wipe and 
clean your countertops where you store your food items and your groceries To clean my kitchen surfaces and all the countertops, I use bleach due to its disinfecting power. So I use my kitchen towel, I dip it in water which has some millimeters of bleach, then I wipe all the kitchen surfaces. That way I ensure that all the countertops, the kitchen surfaces are bacteria and germs free. The other thing is regular cleaning of the kitchen floor. This ensures that you remove all the food particles which may have fallen down during the cooking process and also it keeps your kitchen food particles free and clean. The other thing and the last one that you must have in your kitchen is a kitchen floor mat. As you know, floor mats are very important in many aspects. So having one in your kitchen is a lifesaver. So thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe and see you soon in our next one.